What's up guys and welcome to this video from me, this calendar. And basically today we're gonna talk about the tier change that went down through Smogon. And uh, as you guys who are following me on Twitter know exactly you know what we've been speaking of and I'm basically gonna go over what uh, has gone down and you know the things that were chicken out. As as a few guys may or may not know, are you changed quite a bit? But also the tier itself changed quite a lot. A lot of RU Pokemon went to UU, and a few good ones from UU went to RU. So the exchange there is really, really fast, and they're very, it's just cool overall. It, it really it's just it's it's gonna be something else. Um, I'm not gonna comment them in individually, but I do. I will comment the tier, the bigger tier change that all. As you guys know, I am on RU and you battle after all, and that is what I really want to talk about. So first of all, we're gonna to uh, zoom this one in a bit. Let's see as you guys can see. First of all, we got Tornado Sterian form, which got from BL to OU. So that's basically the same tier, but now it's more. This Pokemon works in OU. It's definitely. It's Hasn't got a vast usage. Scrafty is now moved to RU. Glade moved from 2UU. Kingdra, RU. Mandibus, a very huge threat in OU, is definitely moved down to UU, which is dangerous. I did, don't think it's got moved down since uh, the tier was established, so that's really, really cool. Flying on is gonna be moved to RU. Very dangerous Pokemon. Olega Sam is used from UU to OU. Uh, Alexis and Light is already BL, so it self be moved to OU. You kind of tend to see what kind of power that really brings it here. Uh, Haunt is going to be banned from PU, or not banned, moved from PU to NU. Hillwisk, one of the biggest changes really, um, going through and actually become quite more used to, than Jolteon is, and going from RU to UU, which is really, really cool. And I guess it deserves it. It is a very, very powerful Pokemon since uh, Mewtwo was introduced to Hyper Wars and whatnot. Rogaldi is going to be from BL2 to UU, like I said, that's basically the same thing. Mamswine is going to be moved down to the UU tier. Hippowdon is going to be moved to OU, which was very surprising, but I can see why, and that means that its um, Sandstream ability is, uh, while it's good, uh, it means that it's going to have to uh, deal with Tyranitar whether or not it's going to be used or not. Tyranitar might be the better setter, sadly. Fletchinder is going to move from RU to NU. Sigilith basically going from BL3 to RU, so not the biggest change there either. Slurpuff going from RU to UU. Very surprised about this, but then again, I get it. Uh, Learning Drain Punch made that much difference here, it really did. And uh, let's see here. We got Camrock, which actually was moved from uh, NU to RU. It's uh, Mega Stone is in BL3, so I get that. Magneton is going to be moved down to uh, NU now, which is definitely, definitely powerful. I used that quite a lot before. It works well there. Abama Snow, well, very surprised by the UU, to be honest. And that goes to Dublade 2 from RU to UU. Cresselia, one major wall in RU, is going to be moved up, which is, yeah, that is surprising. Sloking from RU to UU. Also very surprising, but I get it. Sloking with Regenerator is really powerful and quite common. Noivern from UU to RU. Now that's that's tough. That is really tough. Uh, Tauros from BL to NU, basically the same thing. I think uh, Gastrodon got the same, uh, or Garbodor got the same change last time. Uh, Tauros is a powerful Pokemon in NU. It definitely doesn't deserve to be in a lesser tier than that. Uh, just gotta restart this. Yes, I could set it as a repeat, but why would I, right? Uh, <laughs> anyway, Cabotop's gonna be moved back to NU from being just... It actually moved to RU previous time in February, but got moved back in. Sesmito, now from NU to RU. That is really, really surprising. Sesmito has not been a part of the higher tier from the tier change to NU. And uh, it basically going up means it has got some good coverage and uh, it has done so much difference that it's gonna stay there. Um, Pritplum to PU to NU, no comments really. Whimsicott from RU to UU, very surprising about that, very surprising. It is not gonna last long because of Toxic Croak, 
They're at least together. It has a high usage, which is really cool. Pinsir from RU to NU. Now that's something that's not gonna last. That is a powerful Pokemon in the lower tiers. And um, yeah, I don't think it's gonna stay. I was very surprised when it was moved to RU. So seeing it UU or NU means that it's even more powerful now. Um, definitely Fletch Hinder together with Pinsir and NU is something that you're gonna have to look out for. Um, as long as Fletch Hinder is part of NU, Pinsir can't prevail. But that is something to look out for. And Magneton covers the Fletch Hinder really well, so definitely something to worth actually keeping in mind that you really need a Magneton because Fletch Hinder is gonna be all over the place. Uh, for good reasons now that you know, camera is not a part of it anymore. And I guess the bigger change is definitely the RU. Um, we're gonna talk about that a little bit because it got really dragon heavy. Uh, we got Kingra now, we got Flygon, we got Noivern in in or in the RU. Three strong dragons and we got Scrafty, one bulky, bulky bulky dark fighting type, which basically gonna cover what Pangoro lost once it got to BL2. Um, Scrafty is very, very dangerous. I don't see it lasting, but at the same time, um, I think now that Slurpuff is gone from the Oreo tier, we're definitely gonna see more Aromatist there. And Aromatist might be the sole response to this thing. It's either that or the Mobile. And even Mobile, to some extent, can kind of help out here. I guess see Mobile being a part of Oreo just because for the coverage uh, alone, really. And besides that, we're gonna talk about the dragons that actually are, uh, well, they have a real presence now. I don't see Noivem being a long, yeah, probably gonna be a BL or a band very fast, or at least I think so, I think it's too powerful. Um, Kingdra is on that, I mean, it's close. It's, it's simply too powerful for tier, and the sniper set is very dangerous with the dra focus energy and then Draco, it's just, Ouch, you really need, like I said, an aromatist mobile to kind of deal with that presence. And then we got, well, the Flygon, which I actually think will stay. Flygon is a very, very powerful, powerful monster. And it's got overshadowed by, well, Neuven, really, who uh, did pretty much the same thing, but faster, a little less uh, power and a little worse stabs. But it, it wasn't changed for it not dying as easy. So... I think Flygon is going to stay, and if not, I get it, but remember, Boom Burst Flygon is a thing, and that can break through subs. And yeah, the thing that I really want to just recommend everybody now, being cautious and whatnot, is that you should really, really have something with Freeze Drive on your team now. I recommend Defensive Lapras here. Um, it can deal with Kingdra, it can deal with the new Dragon types, and basically that is worth keeping you know go nuts i'll definitely recommend like i said defensive lapras with either assault vest or leftovers uh, assault vest might do the trick and uh, like i said freeze dry covers what is necessary and that goes for me like lately too it really covers well make sure that thing got freeze dry going in and um, at least it should pack some kind of presence and be enough to deal with pincer is uh, or i mean pfft, Noivan is probably the one that's gonna stand out that is going to bring the most pressure with its just extreme speed really in this tier which can outspeed everything which means that you need something with eye shot and uh, yeah just really really bring w whatever really um, and for end you I guess you leave a comment too make sure that you have Pokemon that can deal with the Fletchinder and the Pinsir I definitely recommend rocks I recommend stone Pokemon really um, I mean, we got Gigalith, we got also Rhydon, those two might be the good re good soul response really for, well, the coverage is going to come down now, and uh, yeah, definitely, definitely looking forward to this tier change, and like I said, we don't know how long these guys will last, I'm sure we're going to get a BL Bands just a week in, um, it's very possible, I hope not, I really, I really want to use no even lower tiers, you're definitely going to see me using that, but at the same time, it's it's very powerful, and I think that it's gonna be it's gonna be outshined um, by just usage alone in in, in the showdown, and, and it's gonna be banned by just by usage alone. 
Uh, but anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching this. I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'm going to leave the link to this list um, in, the, in the video alone. I'm sorry for such a lazy video, but uh, I've been quite busy today. I really want to leave my own thoughts about this. It's going to be a very, very exciting time, and it, it's awesome to be a PocketTuber right now. Uh, so, guys, I want to thank you always for watching, of course. And, you know, as always, guys, remember, the sky is the limit. So, a good day, and take care, right? Bye.